Smash Off Tournament has been out for more than two months and players who want to learn how to play the game have come to the right place. I'll be teaching you how to play one of the first eight characters that you can start with, Kirby the Star Warrior. Kirby is a good character to start off with for casual players because he has multiple jumps, he's small and he has many good moves that may help a player who wants to get a feel for the competitive seeds. Why Kirby? Because he is the first character to play in the world of life, being the only survivor, plus he is one of the first characters you can play in the world. Kirby is a unique character. He has the most jumps at 6. He is a very floaty character and he is very small and because of that, he can duck nearly everything like jabs and moves that hit him bang on in the middle like Captain Falcons. And most of all, he has a copy ability which allows him to steal his opponent's neutral special. Although Kirby is a unique character, he doesn't have much range, making him a more aggressive character when fighting. However, he does have the advantage when fighting offstage thanks to his multiple jumps. Since Kirby is a small character and has little range, Kirby is more of an aggressive character and has to approach his opponents more, but Kirby's air game allows him to have one of the more successful edge guarding tools in the game. First, let's go over Kirby's special attacks, starting off with his main ability from his game, the copy ability. His copy ability debuted in his second title, Kirby Adventure 2, which allows him to steal his opponent's ability. However, in Smash, it doesn't work like it does in the games. Kirby's neutral special, the copy ability in Smash, allows him to copy the opponent's neutral special. Using your copy ability, it can help you lead up to potential abilities with his opponents, but that only means that you have to study the 73 characters that you can fight. His copy ability also allows him to keep his opponent in his mouth which he can move around the map, but the opponent can shake out of it. He can also spit out his opponents, making it a really good edge guard tool when battling opponents. Before in Smash 4, Kirby could only inhale certain projectiles which will heal him, but now in Smash Ultimate this is different, as Kirby can now inhale any projectile or item which allows him to heal himself by 1%. He cannot spit out small projectiles, but he can spit out larger ones like Pac-Man's Hydra. Kirby can also use his taunts to get rid of the abilities he stole. Next is his side special, which is his trusty hammer from his original game. In Smash, Kirby can use it to swipe his opponents off the stage. He is also able to charge his hammer up. In a competitive game, this will be really risky but useful when reading an opponent's movement really well or when their shield is broken. That way, you can really turn up the heat with a big slam, but don't hold it for too long, otherwise you will be taking damage. But after 100%, you won't take damage from it, making it less reckless. This isn't a move you want to be using much unless your opponent's movement is really sloppy. This move is what you would call a high risk, high reward. Up special is the final cutter, a move which allows Kirby to fly up and come crashing down with a small shockwave and projectile which lasts little than a second. This is a very good recovery system, although Kirby does have his jumps, he can make sure that he gets the sweet spot out of the edge allowing him to not fall down or get hit by things like bombs or Isabel's down special. A nice way to practice this is by putting a bomb in the corner of the map and try to grab ledge without it detonating. Kirby's final cut has a chance of spiking on stage when an opponent is on the ledge, but it isn't as easy as Smash 4, but it is possible off stage, but it's better than your edge guard normally than go for it because it may accidentally lose your stop before your opponent. It's possible for your opponent to also recover from it as well, so be careful. In order to guarantee, you need to be really low from the map, making it impossible for your opponent to recover. Down special is Kirby Stone ability, which allows Kirby to turn into stone and have super armor. It's a really good move to cover in the air when the opponent is beneath you. You can fake using the move, getting yourself away from the opponent, causing them to make another move instead and get yourself out of a disadvantaged state. It does a lot of damage to shields, but when done in midair, it doesn't hit twice like it did in Smash 4, which is really bad because it makes it more harder for Kirby to break shields. Be careful when using it because you can still get grabbed and the frame rates are returning to normal are a bit long so use this move efficiently or when needed because it's possible for the player to attack you before you have completely morphed. Kirby's neutral attack are the same from Smash 4 with his 3 hit jab and his infinite jabs if A is held down. In Smash Ultimate, the first and second hits can be used for jab locks which can go into a deadly side smash. It connects more reliably as it keeps enemies on the floor meaning that they can't SDI out of it. However, the move deals less damage than it did in Smash 4 by 0.2% for the first hit, 1.4% for the second hit and 0.8% for the looped attack, which is a lot of damage reduced. You would mainly want to use neutral attack for jab blocks, but it would be necessary if you use all jabs if a player is nearby. 
Up tilt is an overhead kick, which is a combo star at low percent. It has more buffs than it did in Smash 4. It has a little more range and it has a late hitbox which gives one extra frame of intangibility. The move did get more knockback than before, making it easier to combo into other moves, but this makes the move more harder to chain into itself than it did at high percents. Down tilt is a low kick which has a chance to make the player trip. It can be used in a combo and if the player can get the trip, they can extend their combo. Unlike in Smash 4, it is easier to follow up as it doesn't send the opponent more backwards anymore. There wasn't much change to the move with only a small bar. Forward tilt is a kick which can be angled in the direction the control stick is in which can be done by slightly pushing the analog in the angle. With tilt attack it is much more easier to do as you can just push the C stick in the angles. This can be used to keep your distance from the opponent. Kirby's dash attack has changed from Smash 4 and has been reverted back to his melee iteration. Kirby now does a tackle where he's on fire which is similar to his burning ability in his games. Dash attack doesn't lose momentum like it did in Smash 4 and now has a decreased knockback making it easier to kill at high percents. Kirby's dash attack is now a one hit move which means that the player cannot FD out of it making it more reliable. Forward Smash is one of Kirby's most deadliest moves which kills at 110% for an average sized character. If used at the ledge, it can be used to get early kills. Forward Smash now has more range than it did in Smash 4 making it more reliable for kills. Up Smash is a backflip kick which sends the opponent upwards. It kills at late percents not making it as reliable as Forward Smash but on platforms it can kill at earlier percents. Down Smash is a spinning kick which Kirby keeps his feet on the ground swiping anyone around him. Its range has been increased from Smash 4 as the moves act similar to the ball version, but it sends opponents at a horizontal angle making kills have a higher potential as well as edge guarding your opponents. It's more reliable to edge guard with than use this move for a kill move, which they die around at higher percent. All of Kirby's aerials have gotten buffs and now all have less landing lag making combo potential higher than it was in Smash 4. Neutral error is a spinning attack which does 10% base damage at its earliest frames till 4%. At its latest, it is very good for chasing a character if done with a short hop at low percents going from grabs and turning them into combos. Forward air is a spinning kick with 3 different hitboxes which do low percent and has combo potential and can even sometimes combo into itself carrying the opponent off the stage at certain percents. Up air is a bicycle kick which hits for 9% and can combo into itself but it isn't as reliable as other aerial options for combos. Back air is a small drop kick from Kirby but is a very reliable kill move in the air doing 30% in its early hitboxes and 8 at its late hitboxes. This is a very good kill confirm and your go-to move when edge guarding opponents. Down air is a wonderful spinning downwards kick that does a decent amount of percent and can combo into other moves as well as grabs creating major combos and dealing lots of damage. This move is one of Kirby's most powerful combo stars and no possess can even lead to kill confirms. Kirby's up throw sends him and his opponent into the air as he shoots right back down with a slam, similar to Rock Lee's primary lotus. It does around 10% damage and it isn't a reliable kill move killing at late percents. It also has no combo potential. Kirby's down throw is a multi kick sending his opponents away from him. It does little damage but his knockback is too big to combo into making a move to just add percent to your opponent. Back throw is a backward slam sending your opponents away from Kirby which is really good for taking your opponent off the stage and edge guarding them. It kills around 135% and has no combo potential. Throw is one of Kirby's main tools for combo at low percents. It is a forward toss that doesn't send the opponent too far from Kirby making it really easy for Kirby to combo into. It does 5% damage and isn't a tool for killing an opponent at high percents. Kirby has amazing combo potential at low percents and deals major damage when pulling off combos successfully. Here are some montages of Kirby doing some combos dealing a decent amount of damage. If you want to learn more Kirby combos, I have left more links down below in the description for you to learn more combos. I will leave a link in the description for the more advanced kill confirms that you may want to learn. That's all for the Kirby tutorial. 
Hopefully this tutorial has helped have a better sense of Kirby and how to play it. In the next video, I'll be covering weaknesses that each character has in the game. Until then, practice your Kirby's.